It's number five on Spice Girls Week 2 by Not Your Average Bear. Congratulations. Not Your Average Bear put their list in. It won the vote in the live stream, and here we are. In the live stream. So we do hold up our end of the bargain. We do, in fact, react to these li- voted lists. We it do. may feel like it takes a while, but if you just keep your, you keep trying, oh, keep we'll trying. get you there. We'll get there. We'll get you there. Let's get into this. Adorable. This song is very, very, uh, it's cozy. Sweet. It's very sweet. Yes. Very sweet and pure. It's cozy. And I love just hearing them sing without uh, too much accompaniment, too. Just hearing them sing their verses without, oh, yeah. without all the uh, upbeat. You know, yeah. I, I, all the hoopla. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It yeah. feels like I've been hearing a lot of, I, I hear mostly their, you know, their, their upbeat songs. So it's nice to get a nice slow jam. Honestly, some of my favorite Spice Girl songs are the slow ones. <gasps> what was the slow one that took place oh, in New York City? Oh, yeah. That was my favorite one of week one, I believe. That one was very good. I think that was also my favorite one. And I'm not just trying when to be to like become my brother. One. Ah, yes. Right? Yes. I love that song. That song was like lovely. But yeah, this is this is sweet. We're seeing all the, the mothers and the childhood pictures. Uh, yeah. Very cute. Something I think I've been thinking about a lot lately whenever I see childhood pictures, especially of like famous people. So like what? They were probably born in early 70s. That would be my guess. Yeah. Um, so their childhood pictures would be in the 70s, which could be, man, that could even be like film reel, but at least like camcorder, right? Yeah. And even when we were younger, it's like camcorder. Yeah. But then like if you're watching sports today and the young people are coming in like, oh, and this is him when he was playing baseball in 2012 and I recorded it on my iPad. <laughs> I'm like, dang, young kids today or not young kids, like like people in their early 20s that are just becoming famous. They're going to show like old photos and like home footage of them. It's going to be in 4K. Yeah. Because it was eight years ago when we still had iPhones. Yeah, all that's gonna change. You won't be able to. You won't be able to tell anymore. Yeah, like if you see it, especially for like college athletes, like a lot of college athletes, they'll show like, oh, when they played. Yeah, because this upcoming football season, there'll be eighteen-year-olds playing in college sports. Yep. And they were born in two thousand six. Yep. So if you show their like, their like childhood sports from when they're like five in two thousand eleven. Yeah. Or six in or ten yeah, yeah. in two thousand sixteen. <laughs> Yeah. Oh man. Yeah. Facebook wasn't even cool by then. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Man, they don't even know what it was like when Facebook had young people on it. <laughs> All right, let's keep it. Let's yeah. keep moving. You don't want to hear it then, but I'm not ashamed to say it now. Every little thing you said and did was right for me. Yeah. 
Very cute. Um, I love their outfits. I love all their outfits in this one. Yeah. I'm, I'm thinking this is late 90s because this is before Sporty left the bunch, right, Joe? Yes. And the style is just right. Also, the I guess it's British or European style that I'm seeing here. So it's nice. Like, look at look at Scary's top. That's mm. awesome. Mm-hmm. And is this is that sporty or ginger? Sometimes sometimes I mix them up. That's posh. Oh, of course, Joe. Uh, hey, sporty and ginger are the ones that I interchange in my head, depending on their hairstyle. Right? Hey, doesn't sporty usually have? Doesn't sporty have brown hair? Oh, okay. Yes. <laughs> Correct. Yeah. So, uh, can we just get a shot of all five of them for a second? Okay, that's sporty. You know what I liked? I liked how that's they had. Baby. I liked how they had the Posh. the actor versions of them as kids. Yeah. All together, kind of like dressed Hollywood, uh, yeah. like how they're oh, like yeah, friends. Yeah, that's cute. Uh, I bet the song was great live. Mama, I love you. Mama. Okay. Wow. Yeah. I bet this was fun. Mike, how come you never wrote a song about our mom? I could cover this one. You want to cover this song? Joe, I've never written a song about any of our family members. <gasps> yeah. Sorry, the cat's doing something cute. Uh, yeah. I've rarely yeah, you even haven't. written songs, Joe. Well. I don't write lyrics. Well, I have. Well, Mike's have written been, songs about love, heartbreak. I've written uh, li- songs recently, but most of my life I haven't really written any lyrics. You've never written a song about me, that's for sure. Yeah, why would I write a song about my brother? What am I say? Mustaches are cool. People named Joe are awesome. Sunglasses, I mean, uh, glasses. Mike, those are, are all so, right. all so impersonal. <laughs> Uh, the combination between mustaches and glasses are cool on a guy who's six foot two. <laughs> How do you like that song? Six foot cool. Striped shirts aren't lame. Don't let anyone tell you striped shirts are lame. I hope someone in the comments tells me striped shirts are lame. <laughs> Horizontal stripes are cooler than vertical hey, stripes. Hey, I had a laundry to do, and I'm lazy, so striped shirt it is. Uh... Like my song? <laughs> no, <laughs> it's terrible. Mike, you, it's got to be more personal. Oh, okay. Yeah, but it's fine uh, since you're not a very personal person. Um, my brother Joe went to three different high schools. <laughs> <laughs> That's about all I can think about him. Like I went to four high schools. Oh, so apparently you can't even think shoot. the truth. Shoot. Mike can't even think the truth with me. Yeah, I can't even think the truth. This guy. Uh, back to Spice, Spice Girls, Girls and Mama. What a lovely song. I bet it, I bet nice. it made so many people think about their relationships with their mothers. Made me think about mine. Pretty good. I'm happy it about it. It also made me think girl. about, like, they all actually had good enough relationships with their moms to have them in the music video. Yeah. You know, five random women, that's, you know, that's a toss-up. Some people that have bad it's random anyone, yeah, bad relationships with their parents. So, so. that's a round of applause it's, for having a good relationship with your parents, and a round of applause for the parents for having a good relationship because that's it's never up to the child; it's always yeah. up to the parent. So you are the parent; you mend the relationship if it's on you, unless it's the child fucking up. Then whatever. You know. <laughs> Sometimes you know, demon child comes out and just it is always on the. Parent oh. to uh, m- mend the what do you call it? Extend the olive branch ah, and mend the relationship. Mend the relationship is never on the child. Okay, the child can do so, but yeah. it's not their responsibility. Would you and the agree? child does often. Would you agree with that in the comments? I okay. think it just depends on the situation. Depends on what the child's done. Usually not as a oh. child, but maybe as an adult. Yeah. Yeah. No, I mean, yeah. If the child's like a murderer, yeah, you don't have to. <laughs> you don't have to claim. Telling me I gotta hang out with my murderous child. <laughs> no, I'm not saying that. Oh my gosh, Mike, I'm that's terrifying. If you had a falling out over something uh, that wasn't illegal <laughs> or morally, morally reprehensible, 
then yeah, it's on it's on the parent to do to like as an ad, as an advocate for the devil. I have to say, how are you supposed to know what's morally reprehensible? That's you know that's up for debate. But what I'm saying is, oh, you brought this thing into the world, and by this thing I mean this beautiful child. <laughs> <laughs> you you brought, brought this <laughs> monster, and now you deal with it. <laughs> It is you who needs to deal with your yeah. demon child. Clean that mess up. No. <laughs> I don't know. That got weird. No, but we're just teasing. No, it's I lovely love to see it. I love that they have good enough relationships with all of their mothers that they were all in the video holding pictures of their daughters. How cute and precious is that, Joe? That is cute and precious. That's wonderful. Like that. You know, I bet it's a lot easier to be a nice parent when your daughter's a superstar, though, huh? You think you'd be nicer to your daughter if she was a superstar? Yeah, I'd be a total prick, and then she becomes successful. I'm like, I'm, I'm, I'm paying attention. Now, Mike's a great. On? See, see, Mike's gonna extend that olive branch once she's I successful. Know to, I know how to extend that olive branch as soon as I see that bank account. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you know, I'm, I don't, I don't dislike you as a child. You just disappointed me financially. <laughs> yeah. You were just bumming me so, out by how poor you were. Now uh, that you're rich, you excite me. Oh, uh, right? that's so fucked up. You <laughs> imagine it. A, you imagine that happens. Someone? I know. That happens to uh, any any it's person. Insane. Like, I think it was Eminem who was talking about it. I was like, yeah, I started realizing I had a lot of aunts and uncles who I never met. <laughs> yeah, I bet. <laughs> a lot of aunts and uncles and cousins came out of the woodwork as soon as I became famous. I mean, you, y'all you got no idea how many people. Like, since Weekly Top 5 really blew up. Oh, dude. I dude. got freaking... Uh, my brother Joe's like, dude, where's the money, bro? My cat's always jumping up on the desk, like, trying to get her two seconds of fame. I know. it. It's a nightmare. Uh, well... All right, that was fun. That was very cute. I like the song. I like their outfits. I know. Moving on. 